Hey everybody, good morning and welcome to ShortSalePowerHour.com. I'm Kevin Kaufman. This is my other business partner, Brandon Tracy, not hey Fred Weaver. So, uh, Brandon Tracy, you guys haven't seen him before. This is his first appearance. Brandon is actually the head and the leader of Group 4610's Buyers Department. And I know you're thinking right now, wait, Buyers Department, this is Short Sale Power Hour. But here's the story that Brandon and I are coming to bring to you today. What we want to talk about is the opportunity to have to go from listing and, and just closing and negotiating short sales to running a full real estate business. We're actually filming this video here today at Keller Williams Family Re Reunion. We just got out of an awesome mastermind session awesome. where it's all about building the biggest business that you can, that you can for your business, taking that and going beyond what you believe is possible. And so when Fred and I started a couple years ago, we just took listings. We didn't even pick up the phone for buyers. And I know because a lot of the viewers contacted me, I've spoken to you directly, you're in the same place now because you're so overwhelmed, you've got the negotiations, you're dealing with the banks, you're dealing with the sellers, you don't even have time for a buyer. So we bring in brand into our business and it completely turns things around and helps us to grow into what I'm going to call a more traditional model of real estate. If you've ever read the Millionaire Real Estate Agent book, kind of along those lines, okay? So Brandon, we, we get phone calls from buyers all the time, all the, we get internet leads. I want you to just talk a little bit about, is there any difference in those buyers that you see than say a buyer that was referred by somebody else or how do you handle that? How do you get them into to get them into group 4610's process and the way you handle that buyer? Well, that's a great question and the, and the big thing here is with, with a lot of these people, they're calling in and they don't know that it's a short sale. Um, maybe they've had a, a lot of negative experiences, heard some negative things <laughs> yeah. about a short sale. Well, that just makes it easier for me to convert them into appointment so I can go out and show them all those awesome homes that exist all over their area of interest that are not short sales, they're traditional sales, they're bank owned properties and we can get them in front of all those properties. So, you know, I know the reluctance might be on a buyer side of a team to, you know, not want to bring those people in and go sell them short sales, but the point is, you don't have to. You don't have to, you're Absolutely. taking all of those calls and you're converting those people to sell them bank owns and traditional sales and that just adds really quick turnover for your business in, in 30 days and 45 day closings, hello. Yeah, we haven't right? seen those, right? So that, that adds a big mega side of your business that maybe you're not tapping into yet. Absolutely. So I think the key thing is, here's something I know about Brandon. The guy does massive, massive business on the buyer side. Um, you've written a short sale on our listings and a couple others, but other everything you do seems to be in a flip or an REL. Right. What is the, right. What's the deal with that? Well, my whole buyer consultation is set up around not selling short sales. Um, I mean, to be honest, the, the brass tax of it is I don't want to. I don't want to sell short sales. Okay. Um, and if I and if I present that properly to the client, show them the pitfalls of being involved in a short sale and, and involved with a, a possibly an agent that doesn't know how to get a short sale done. Not that there's many of those. That's okay. Right. right. So you know, after I present it a certain way, they're on board. They want what I want. We're, we're on the same page. It's a win-win situation. We're finding them what they want in a short period of time, you know, and, and we're addressing all of their concerns up front. And you know what? It, on the outside chance that they want to see a short sale as a last resort, last resort, but you say fee. You say last, okay, upfront fee, big one. Mm -hmm. You say last resort. It's almost a no resort with you because oh, I know this. We work together every day. I see the contracts coming in that you're bringing in. Mm -hmm. I mean, you, can we brag about you for a second? Sure. In the month of January, you signed 15 buyer brokers. Correct, yeah. Okay, 15, that's 15 buyer listings. Fred and I talk about buyer listings before. You've heard us talk about that when mm -hmm. completing out your whole business. Mm -hmm. Month of February, it's 12 so far. I know you have four appointments set up for yeah, later this five week. Five as soon as we get okay, back. Okay, five yeah. this week, wow. So you're on track because I know your conversion rates actually get to 16 or 17 this month, mm -hmm. if not more, mm -hmm. that's a lot of business. Right, which would be the third consecutive month over 15. Okay, so right. that's pretty strong, right? Yeah. So here's what, I'm, here's what I'm looking to impress upon you, and I'm not trying to impress you with Brandon's numbers or Group 4610's numbers. I'm trying to impress upon you the fact that you can take your, your skill set, this special thing that you have because you negotiate short sales at a high level, and you can bring in the listings because of that, and you can turn that into a well-rounded business. Absolutely. Now, it doesn't have to be you. Most of us are controllers. Most of us like to are control freaks, in fact, if we're good at short sale negotiations. But here's what you've got to master. You've got to master finding talent like Brandon, someone to bring into your business that can go out and run that for you and run that for the business and be that next extension that takes your business to the next level. And I believe, I personally believe that short sales is the biggest opportunity for all of us to be able to do that with. 
REO listings have been out there for a long time. Most REO agents who do massive volume have that. But what I see is a lack of that on the short sale teams and we want to change that. And so we're bringing that to you and that's why we want to have Brandon on today to just show that to you that, hey, there's a possibility to, to add an extra 15, 20, I don't know, 50, 100, 150 transactions to the team's mm -hmm. bottom line in one year. And when you bring on talent like Brandon, somebody who's got as much talent as you and you can see that through the interview process, your business starts to open up to a whole new different level. And that's really just all I wanted to press upon you today. Awesome. That's a big deal. So we're going to wrap it up like we always do, guys. Great stuff. It's Short Sale Power Hour. Before we do that, I want to remind you that on March 8th, we're going to be in Fredericksburg, Virginia. March 10th, we're going to be in Charlotte, North Carolina. And the big daddy of them all on April 1st, Las Vegas, Nevada. Las Vegas. For Short Sales Uncensored, not just me and Fred, it's Brian Gubernick. We're bringing you some very uncensored content that will never be seen or shown again. So. All right, so you ready? Let's wrap it up. Let's One, do it. Two, three. Short sale power hour. Short sale power hour. Brandon crushes it.